I've been working on this seat in a W124 with the memory module, and it looks like the memory module is bad. So I'm going to get a new one of these coming, but it's going to take a while. I want to be able to drive this car, and I want to be able to power the seat. How can I do this? In fact, there are times when I've threatened to actually put emergency plugs on the front of seats so you can power them back and forth if something should happen, either the switch, the wiring, or whatever. And I may do that. In particular, I may do it for a 126 chassis, but this is a very complicated seat system. You know, I was able to get the seat back. But what I want to do now is I'm just going to put this aside. I don't need this anymore. And I'm going to pull these plugs off the back of the module. These are all the plugs that power the motor. So you'd need to find which plugs power your motors. And I'm going to move these to the back. I've cut a few zip ties here, so I've got some slack and I'll be able to move this entire plug harness assembly to the back behind the seat where I can get to it with some 12 volt power and I can power the seat and adjust it. It's not going to be automatic and it's certainly not going to be easy, but using each one of these I can adjust the tilt, I can adjust the height, I can adjust the fore and aft. So I can drive it comfortably until the new <laughs> memory module arrives. I got the seat bolted back on the frame, and here you can see I have access to these five plugs. Of course, one's going to be headrest, one's going to be tilt, one's going to be fore and aft, one's going to be the front of the seat up and down, and one's going to be the rear of the seat up and down. Uh, let's see, I want to move this seat back. It's too close, so I'm going to use number three. I already know number three is a fore and aft plug. Now I'm using a power probe and you've got two large contacts. You're going to put negative on one, positive on the other. It'll go one way and when you reverse polarity, it'll go another way. So I don't know which way it's going to run right now, but let's power it up this way. Oh, it's going forward, so I'll switch. Okay, now the seat's coming back. Okay, and a little bit more. You can see what I mean when I said this isn't going to be very fast. Now, let's get the base to go down. So I got number two. Let's see what number two does. Okay, that's lowering the front. Let me get the front lowered down. Okay. And then uh, number one. Notice I've marked these. <laughs> Now I want the back to come down. There we go, back's coming down. I'll bring it down quite a bit. All right, now I'm gonna get in the car and see how that feels. And if I need to make a minor adjustment, I'm gonna come back and do it again. <laughs> so just remember this little tip when you have power seat problems.